Hello, it's me, Diego Sandoval, and this is Diego's Life. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make avocado toast. I was out in the garden, and I saw this big, ripe, juicy tomato, and I said, this will be a really nice meal tonight. I like to eat a little bit um, light when I'm getting older, and I don't eat, like to eat such a big meal this late in the day. So, sorry, but... Let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what to do. So this was the tomato I was talking about that I saw this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. Here's another little one. And here's some more that I'm just gonna go ahead and take. So now that I picked my tomatoes, mmm, they smell delicious. I can hardly wait. And I'm gonna go ahead and start making the toast. So I got a big uh, avocado, just a nice Haas avocado. And then here's the crusty bread. This one is garlic sourdough, I believe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in the toaster. So while the Bread is toasting. I'm going to go ahead and slice the tomatoes. Everybody makes um, avocado toast differently. This is the way I like to make it. Um, make it however you want to make it, but this is just the way I do it. So I slice tomatoes and I also put like a little bit of a cilantro garnish on it. A lot of people think cilantro tastes like soap. If you think, if you're one of those people, then don't use it. And if you're a person that likes cilantro, put it on. It's up to you, whatever you like to do. Okay, and then now I'm going to do the avocado. This is always the... The... What do you call it? The, the reveal to see if the avocado looks good on the inside. So this one's a pretty good avocado. We'll go ahead and use that one today. Easy to cut out the pit. Then you just get a spoon like this. And then you just pop it out just like that. Discard the shell. And there you go. Okay, so now I've toasted the bread and I'm gonna mash the avocado. So here's the avocado. I'm gonna just cut it up a little bit. And then just kind of smash it a little bit. So it uh, spreads evenly on the on the toast. Sorry, I'm trying to video this and chop at the same time and I haven't gotten quite the hang of it yet. Okay, and this is the, the toast after it's been toasted. I put a little tiny bit of butter on it and um, we'll go ahead and, and spread the avocado onto the toast. Okay, so I went, in, went ahead and smashed the avocado and then I'm gonna put some very ripe, delicious tomato. put two on that one. Then I'm going to put salt and pepper. I'm going to use the 
coarse ground pepper, salt, and then the same with the pepper. I'm also going to do a squeeze of lime. And then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of garnish. And like I said, you don't have to put the garnish in if you don't want to. I like it, so I'm gonna put it on mine. I was laughing because uh, a lot of people do not like cilantro. And I heard it's because of the genes, people are, the culture where it came from, that uh, if you weren't in that area of the, of the globe where cilantro was grown or where they use it as an herb, it tends to taste like soap. But if you were in the region or tended to like it, you have the taste for it. I guess I was in that region because I like it. But you know what? As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and show you. As a matter of fact, I didn't like it when I was younger and I grew to like it as an adult. So maybe you can try it again. It's up to you. So here's the finished product. It's on the table and voila, there you have avocado toast. So thank you for uh, watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.